up? What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the show. What's up, guys? And welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe in five, four, three, two, one, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you don't, you ain't popping. I love it. I love it every day, guys. Every day. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Bird House Rock Star Show with the Bird Girls, with your boy Don Bird. We are in the building. Your boy, Don. Daddy. Two. Listen, we got uh, we got we got little Donnie in here. We, we got Livy in here. What's up? Um, What's up? We're on our way to school, guys. I'm just getting started out. We're on, getting on the main road. Okay, you got the show for now. Go ahead. You gotta get in the shot, girl. Get in the shot. I'm in the shot. Uh, what's up guys and welcome back to our channel uh, today we're gonna be talking about um, my baseball game today mm. uh, again second grade okay and uh, chicken, pox. chicken pox and a milk carton like how to keep it good like on well first let me hear about that baseball game what about that baseball game what's going okay. on so third grade is going against second grade and Mr. Lane told us that second grade has been practicing as a team all weekend long and even at recess so today we're having like we're gonna go we're gonna go against second grade and it's I'm nervous I'm excited and I'm kind of like happy and yeah, and I think first grade and kindergarten are gonna come out to see and like hold up signs and all that stuff. And yeah, so. All right, so we love Mr. Lane, guys, right? Because um, one, he's so awesome, right? He's a security person at the school. He leads a security effort. Uh, former police officer, really a good guy. I really like Mr. Lane. Excuse me. requires attention <sighs> it happens guys sometimes it's crazy driving in Philadelphia and sometimes I have to apply maximum focus which is the first part anyway uh, Mr. Lane back to Mr. Lane great guy uh, loves the kids loves the kids you really don't meet people like this every day that's what we love about the Catholic education and people like Mr. Lane who dedicate their lives especially in retirement to children. So he's really like involved with the kids. He, he quizzes them, he jokes with them, but he's serious too. You don't play with him, he doesn't, right? So like, he, 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 he's that guy, he's a man's man in that way. Like he balances authority with like jovial nature. And that's what I love about him. Like, you know Mr. Lane's serious, but also, you, you, you know, he's very much of a nice man. So, you know, you can see how even Michaela's talking about him. They're gonna do the, uh, baseball game between the um, second and third grade. Michaela's in third grade. Yes. So, um, you know, they play baseball at recess, right? It's the end of the year. They're going to see, like, okay, y'all been playing baseball. Let's get teams together. We're going to play each other and we'll see who wins. That's how you see who wins, right? you got to play the game. And today's that day. Here we are. So that's what's going to happen today, though. So it's a baseball game. Um, I talked to Ms. Lane about it, Mr. Lane about it yesterday. And he was uh, in the car line. So that's what I love about car line. You can build some good relationships in car line. Um, and that's why I tell the kids to talk to the people when they, you know, to the folks they know. It's not like these are the people they see in car line every day. There's nothing wrong with saying, hello, Mr. Lane. Hello, Mr. Uh, uh, Dickman. Mr. Uh, Mrs. Uh, who else is that? Come on, help me. Um, Mrs. Um, Who's out there? Uh, Gannon, <laughs> Gannon. Um, Mrs. Doherty, Mrs. Mr. Mrs. 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 See, we gotta get used to saying this stuff, correct? I mean, Amelia. Oh, see how we you gotta get down, get that stuff down. Pat, point is, guys, listen to this. Um, 
So, give you some news that we got an email yesterday. This is what you can start working into your talk to your teachers. Mrs. Doherty is retiring. So when you see her, you can say to her, oh, hey, Mrs. Doherty, I heard the news. I heard you're retiring. One, oh my God, we're gonna miss you. And two, I want you to enjoy your retirement. Yeah, she's gonna be leaving. So it's sad, right? Yeah, you know, you can miss people. Point is that you can tell her you're gonna miss her. That way, you know, because I just read an email. Is it her name, Joanne Doherty? Yes. She's retired. So she helped me with the reading and some math in second grade. Yeah, she's like, listen, it's time to retire. And, 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 and you know, take care of her grandchildren or travel. So I forgot to put sugar in my coffee, and it's noticeably different, guys. Oops, a little spillage there, no big deal. Um, a little speed bump action there. Anyway, no, no sugar in my coffee, it's just like, uh, really isn't the same. Um, so what we got going on? Um, Sixers lost. So we didn't sad. Do, so sad. What are we doing? It was the last game. It was terrible. We, we lost, lost that on Sunday. We lost on Sunday. Oh my god. Yeah. So we're out. Mm -hmm. I know. It's just like the football season. Uh, well, at least like we went to the Super Bowl. We went to the Super Bowl. Which was pretty fun. Yes. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we had a lot of fun. cheering on Jalen Hurts, baby. Listen, listen, the Eagles had a great year. We're not going to say they didn't do well. They did a great job. See, the thing is, you don't lose when you lose the Super Bowl. We had a great time in the playoffs, cheering them on, and we, we went, uh, we won most of our games. So, no, the Sixers are a disappointment. They're an embarrassment to the city because the fact is that they had an opportunity to close out that series and play like they knew how but they shriveled up in, in, the, in the limelight. They shriveled up when it mattered. It's like, what are you guys out there doing? You know, the city is disappointed. We're happy about the Phillies and the Eagles. I'll take that. And we got Phillies tickets. And we got Phillies tickets. That's right. Let's go, baby. But anyway, enough about the Sixers. Um, what else do we have oh, going on? Can I talk about something yeah, that happened yesterday? Yes. I don't know a way to like do it. So guys, you are going to love this, and you, and if you love it, put a lemonade, put a lemon <laughs> in it, okay? In the comments. In the comments below. Okay. So you have, so you have a cup, right? Of course. Don't drink from a bowl or a plate. Okay. So you have a cup. Let's start there. Pour lemonade, and then you get sparkling water. Pour sparkling water, just a little bit. Or, if you or a love, lot, babe. Or a lot, if you love sparkling water. And then, like, mix it around. Put some ice, if it's not cold. And then drink it. It will taste amazing, guys. So, put a lemon in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I love it. I love it. I love it. We had the uh, four. Four. Three. Four, three two. One. And subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And, and if you don't, you, you ain't popping. Pop oh man, every time. I love you it. Pop you ain't popping, y'all. Popping, you ain't popping. Are you popping now? <laughs> oh, don't forget to vote today, guys. Don't forget to vote. Really? I'm not old enough to vote, but don't forget to vote for me. Oh yeah, baby. Kayla is running for her. I'm not old enough to vote. I'm only seven years old. I just turned seven. I only need like nine. Nine million. Oh, I can vote at eighteen, right? Oh God, this is the other thing, guys. We got to get these kids educated enough so in nine years they know what they're doing when they vote. Anyway, um, guys. I have nine years. So we got uh, 
We talked about the chicken pox. Uh, Let's chicken talk pox. about chicken we pox. Talked about uh, chicken pox. Well, no, we well, we're, I'm thinking of the, the the topics that we had. Um, so chicken pox. The girls wanted to know what chicken pox is. Leave it in okay. the comments. Did you know? I know a fact. Go ahead, fact. Pox. Let's If you have facts. chicken pox right now, keep watching this show. If you pop your chicken pox. Mm. It's disgusting. Something will come out and it's not good for your body. So we'll don't do that. Start there, but um How do you get chicken pox? By eating something bad. No, um chicken pox is like a um We got to look it up, guys. It's a it's a disease you get as a child most likely and uh, it's contagious and it causes these um Pox, if you will, on your body. Like, oh, no. yeah, that's, that was on the topic. <laughs> no, all right, no. and then it comes. This is why you don't want to pick them. First of all, you you, you heal from them, um, but but if you pick them, it's going to leave little scars all over your body. And it's not going to look good. And um, so yeah, that's what happens to you. I mean, you, you know, all, everyone's had it. So it's like if you didn't have it, it's, you know, it's not good in the future because. I think it affects adults worse than it does children. So like if you get it at 30 and you haven't had it, it may be bad. But at 6, 7, 8, it's like you just, you just lay around for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I had it like 6 or 7. Oh my god. Oh, I'm never going to get a disease. Oh, I'm never going to get a disease. That's it. Well, that's the thing. You wanna, you, everyone gets a disease. you got to be strong enough to fight it off. That's what we also want to learn in health and science class, guys. It's being healthy is the ability to fight off the disease, not not getting the disease. Everyone's gonna get an illness or something uh, one day. You get sick, you got uh, a cold, you get the flu, you get COVID. You get COVID? Yes, I got COVID like three times. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a disease. Oh, and one more thing. What's the dif difference between chickenpox and Pimples. Yeah, that's, that's a bad name. Well, pimples, that's a good question. Pimples is like uh, uh, like a like a contusion on the face. Like that's like a it, it is kind of a disease, but it's not like a like a like an infectious disease. It's more so like it's I I wouldn't call it a disease, but it's more so like impurities or like bacteria uh, that gets into your that gets into your skin and dirt. So you think about dirt, oil. And then a little bacteria mix that all together and causes something to happen on your skin that pusses up and it heals up. That's why you got to cleanse and clean your skin. If you do that, you're less likely to get pimples. And then it matters on what you eat. So you get pimples. If you're eating a lot of fatty or bad food, it produces a lot of oil. It'll come eventually. That's why your face will be oily if you just eat poorly. And it'll make and cause pimples to come out of your skin. It's disgusting, but like... Is real. People get pimples all the time. And you gotta clean up your eating. You gotta eat clean. Eating clean means, well, yes, it, 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 you gotta top, top, from a topical perspective, topical means like your top of your skin, but then also from a, a diet healthy way of eating inside of you. Like that's where that's coming from. So um, now it's getting a little deep, but like that's the truth, right? So you gotta think what you eat is going to come out on your skin. If you eat poorly, your skin's gonna look bad. If you don't drink any water, if you don't um, wash your face, well, your skin's not gonna look good. You know what? I think too, we're gonna start talking about this. One of the things I wanna start talking about is bridging the gap. Leave in the comments if you think this is cool. Bridging the gap between generations and also talking about cause and effect. I think we think that everybody understands cause and effect, but they don't. We should talk about it as if you don't. And if you understand it, good for you. But like, you know, if you eat poorly, <laughs> you know, you will uh, be unhealthy, right? Or, or if you do this, then, then, then this will happen. I think we need to have a question to answer in a show style. But anyway, let's close the show down, guys. We are getting close. We are getting close. What's good? Anything left? Anything on the table? What's up? I mean, Kayla's got girls on the run today, guys. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we'll save that for tomorrow. That'll be our. Oh, that'll be oh our and I'm riding the bike for this Showdown. Don't forget to subscribe in five, four, three, two, one, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you don't, you ain't popping. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our channel. Yes. And, and don't forget sure to watch you... tomorrow. Yes. And tune make in. sure you watch the Birdhouse Rockstar Channel. Uh, 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 uh. Birdhouse Rockstar Channel. Birdhouse Rockstar Channel. Birdhouse Rockstar Channel. Channel. All right, guys, listen, listen. Thank you again for watching. We really appreciate you. Stay tuned. We're going to be talking about a lot of things like Bella said tomorrow, but we are out. Peace. See you later.